Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Finally got our PCGS order. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the two pet peeves that we have uh, with PCGS right now. Uh, things they could improve on um, just to make the experience better. Let's get started. So you guys know, we just got a PCGS submission back. Um, it has a lot of nice coins in it but there's some things that we wanted to talk about in this video. And, um, you know, we really care about the product and it is a great product that what PCGS does, you know, the true views, the grading, um, just how they package everything, it's phenomenal. Um, but there's been things as of recently that we're not really fond of and we wanted to express them in this video while showing you some really cool coins that they ended up uh, photographing for us and grading for us. And the big issue that we're going to talk about in this video is turnaround times um, and the backstory with this submission is that we actually submitted it on September 9th and we got the package back um, from PCGS on December 30th of, of last year um, so we waited quite a long time and the only real reason why we got this back at this time is because we had to call them and ask for the order to be expedited and for all who don't know what expedited means, it basically means once you pass that certain threshold of the quote unquote turnaround time they have on their website, you can give them a call and ask your order to be expedited. PCGS's turnaround time, they say for our economy sub is 30 days, which I know that's not possible. You know, sometimes that's, you know, that can't happen. Um, but I think I called on the 72nd business day um, that they ended up having my submission and they didn't even grade it yet. Um, it was still in grading. And so when I called the lady, she was very nice. And then I think within eight hours, um, they had my grades up for the coins. Um, so the problem that I run into and what I'm trying to say is that basically I have to wait 72 days. Well, I have to wait 40 something days over the expected turnaround time. And then I have to call them for them to grade my coins. And there's been a lot of things that we can use in terms of what the problem is. You know, uh, there's a pandemic going on still. There's the holiday season. Um, it's a new year, yada, yada, yada. That's that's important to understand. Um, but for me, like when I run what I'm doing, you know, my business, I look for solutions, things that will get things done quicker, things that will help people faster and make sure their product is delivered on time. And so... When we're almost talking, or you know, when we're talking double turnaround times on stuff, even more than double turnaround times, um, it can get very weary for me because it's like I start to ask myself, should I send anything in? Should I make any PCGS order? Um, when's a good time to make it? Because am I going to have to wait, you know, I don't know four, three, four months for an order to come back? That's just for me. It's just something that is really bothering us, and it's really kind of questioning on whether we should submit to PCGS um, and if it's worth it, you know, is it worth sending these coins in, getting them back, trying to sell them for a profit, but at the same time, it's like we're having that capital tied up for so long that it makes it almost hard to convince ourselves to now. The second problem that we're running into, uh, which kind of almost correlates with the first, is that when we got the coins home, they didn't have tributes on them. Um, and I think we waited 12, 13 days, and then we had to reach out to somebody personally to ask them if they could pick out true views for our coins so we can actually sell them. Um, so the two major conflicts that we're really talking about is that I have to physically call PCGS for them to grade my coins, and then I have to physically reach out to PCGS for them to give me my true views. And so w the question would be why I'm paying for a service that I actually have to follow up and ask people to do their, their job. Like I have to ask somebody to grade my coins and then I have to ask somebody to give me the photos of the coins when I'm already paying for that service. So it's kind of like, it, it drives me kind of uh, in circles, um, just how everything is being structured and working itself out. And uh, enough talking about that stuff. Let's start talking about some coins because that's kind of what you guys are here for as well. Kind of that PCGS unboxing part of the video. So in this submission, we actually submitted uh, six tape-toned uh, Washington quarters. I'm going to show those to the left of me um, on the right of your screen throughout this whole kind of talking when we're talking about them. But this first 1954 
Washington quarter I really like just because of how, uh, you know, how it kind of stood out, the tape between the tape and kind of that terminal toning on the obverse. And when I flip it over, it's got that nice tape on there as well. Um, as you guys know, back in the day, they used to put all these in, you know, in binders and in albums with tape. And then after a while, we figured out there was a better way to do it. Um, and when we're taking a look at uh, some of the others, you know, they have tape in certain directions, and they also still have color peeking out at them, which is pretty nice. Uh, you know, these both both these uh, types graded like MS65, MS64, so nothing to like scream home about in terms of grade. It's more of the character for me. Um, and you know, when you're flipping the coins over, you kind of see that tape on the front and the back, which I like. Um, it's just they're all pretty intricate. Um, I wish the coins themselves would have had, you know, some more color, but they are picked out too late. You know, uh, when it when they start to escalate in uh, the toning process, uh, most of these coins um, just just weren't pulled out in time for them to have that really unique and vibrant color. Um, they just sat in someone's album for too long, which kind of sucks. Um, but we got them for extremely affordable price, and then we had to send them econ just so we can make sure we make that money in the end. We actually picked these coins up on Facebook. I think a guy got them out of a collection or something and then he had to work on them because sometimes it has that tape residue uh, where the tape used to be. But these actually look pretty nice. Um, and when he showed them to me I had to buy all of them. Um, I think they were either in one set or they were in many albums. It was kind of confusing because they're all the same date. Um, and when I, what I was trying to say earlier with the terminal and them being pulled out too late is basically everything has a toning cycle. Um, and so, you know, as further along in the process that it goes, the more terminal it goes. So it, it kind of hits a peak with it's like the rainbow that it might have. And then, you know, if, if it's kept in there any longer, it starts to uh, turn terminal like these coins. Um, so like I was saying, not the most prettiest coins, but they do have that interesting character. They do have that inter interesting history to them. Um, it's kind of like a, a hallmark of the numismatic space, you know, for those early collectors way back then. Um, but really do enjoy uh, all six of these coins and I'm very thankful I was able to share them in this video. Are you enjoying today's video? If you are, please leave a like button, uh, comment down below what you think of the video so far, and subscribe if you're new because we come out with videos every single week and we really do enjoy giving back to you guys. So uh, let's get back to today's video. Up next, I wanted to show you guys this 1883 O Morgan Dollar graded MS62 by PCGS. The reason why I sent this coin in is because I do enjoy the colors and that kind of crescent on the obverse of the coin. Um, and the main reason why this coin graded MS62 really is because it has that kind of lackluster appeal to it, which kind of sucks. Um, but I do enjoy the coin, like I said, because of that color. Um, and then when you flip over the coin, it still kind of has that lackluster appeal to it. Not sure where this coin was held for so long, but getting these coins authenticated and also getting pretty nice tributes like this one um, really does give that appeal to a coin and kind of sells it sometimes because people get that added value of a professional uh, photograph so pretty nice coin I do enjoy that color next coin I want to show you guys is this 1878s Morgan dollar graded MS63 by PCGS um, the reason why we submitted this coin because it has that really interesting uh, terminal kind of crescent at the bottom uh, where the date is on the obverse um, you know I like that kind of greenish red down there and it has uh, some blues and yellows as well um, and I like the coin as well because it has that s type of mint luster on it um, and so when you're twirling it you really do get that full cartwheel effect um, and then when you flip over the coin you see a little bit of that blue around the rim there a little bit of orange um, almost kind of a problem free a reverse and I think the reason why they are, are we got this grade on this coin is because of kind of the hits that you see on the obverse face and a little bit of chatter out in the fields. Here's one of my uh, I suck at grading coins. This is um, a 1940 uh, Jefferson Nickel. Um, graded Unc Details Clean by PCGS. Um, yep, didn't look at this coin too much and I thought it would, it would pass. And uh, yeah, didn't, didn't pass and that's okay. Um, it's got some interesting color. Uh, it's got like an orange, blue, and green on the obverse. Um, and, you know, I, I do like the coin overall. It does suck that it is clean, so it's going to be discounted heavily. Um, and I am going to lose on it, but it does give me that experience, that exposure to, uh, you know, Jefferson Nichols. And also, it tells me to double check some coins when you're sending them off. But 
when you flip it over the reverse, uh, you kind of see a fingerprint right over uh, the Monticello there. Um, I like the color on the reverse as well. That's probably where it was clean though. Um, it's got some orange, blue, and uh, some brown to it. Um, you know, no silver in this coin, so uh, that's what you can expect in terms of color. But you know, it kind of does suck that it has been cleaned, but it is what it is. The last one I want to show you guys is this 1998 uh, P. Uh, Jefferson nickel. I thought it would grade high and uh, I was actually told beforehand that this coin had wrap slash machine damage um, before sending it in. I paid a lot for the coin and I thought it would grade well and then when someone told me that I was like that's probably gonna happen to the coin um, but I wanted to make sure anyway and so when I sent it in I did get that wrap machine damage um, which you know it's it's unfortunate it's the way it is um, but I did pick up the coin because it has a nice crescent on the obverse um, of the coin. Uh, it's just harder to find with these uh, kind of newer dates. Um, and then when you flip it over, you could see still that uh, you know nice kind of rainbow uh, circular around the Monticello, and it has that brown on the rim. You know I, I did enjoy the character on the coin, um, and like I said, I'm going to take a loss on both of these, but it has taught me a lot about what to look out for for Jeffersons. And uh, they're actually pretty neat coins when you uh, you know when you spend the time to to look at them. And like I said before, we really do care about PCGS, the product that they make, and we're we're you know we're patrons of what they do. You know we bought um, you know we bought like their their highest tier of service. We send in coins every month. So anything that we really are saying in this video is trying to help them, give them some advice, or not even advice, but like you know just saying what we have in terms of feedback because you know we want them to succeed and we want in in turn for us to succeed by receiving our coins back in a reasonable amount of time um, so we can offer coins to you guys and if you guys are interested in looking at more of our PCGS unboxing videos we have a playlist down below and at the top of your screen we're also going to include our most recent PCGS submission video just for you guys to enjoy more of these unboxings because they are pretty popular on YouTube Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Uh, comment your thoughts down below of what you thought of the coins and also what you thought of uh, what we think that PTGS can improve on. Um, subscribe if you're new because we're coming out with videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We will see you guys in the next video.